he dissed Eminem on your record. So this whole thing is a huge mistake. That's mm -hmm. that was the funniest part of my beef with Eminem was a big mistake. Um, oh fuck, it, it's so bad. <laughs> I had no idea when he said I buck a buck a three eighty on ones that act shady. Right. Planet Asia was there. Defari was there. Um, Phil the Agony was there. This Rocka was, my was family. there. He's naming all my good friends. Oh. You know, everybody was in the room. He didn't come out the booth, and none of us went. Damn, like it was. It wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Then I listened back, and after it, I realized what happened. He said Haley, maybe a line or two later, mm -hmm. and then whatever it was, it went A to B, and I was, or I was out of that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I see your way out you know what i mean right. that, that was me i was over there i didn't even understand what was happening um i guess because eminem and i had hung out with mad child my homie we had right. I, I wanted we, to ask you about mad child too. yeah we had i had mad child in town from canada we went to a um to a unity thing we mm -hmm. used to have in la right. i think EPM, shout out to bigger b big and b recipes uh orlando mm -hmm. I, I think uh we were watching EPMD or something like that, and me, Em, and, and Mad Child, we're all just kicking it, watching it. It wasn't, he was like around the scene doing a lot of the same mm -hmm. shows we were at that time. So it was, wasn't weird to me. I guess he felt like, cause maybe we had met and been cool that I single-handedly allowed Everlast to, to diss him. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the case. It mm -hmm. was just something he did. And he didn't, Everlast knows, he didn't warn any of us. He did mm -hmm. that, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And whatever. Um, and so he went back at me personally because of it. Um, and you know, getting dissed by Eminem in the prime of his career. That's I'm talking cool. about, I'm the, no, it was not cool at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, diss me, please, no, Eminem, no, no, please no, no, no. diss me. <laughs> the real Slim Shady was out. He, right. he was on over the top of the world. Probably the biggest rap moment in rap's history, arguably. Mm -hmm. is the the emergence of Eminem. Behemoth. Goliath. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I went to, there was a coffee shop I used to go to in the morning and get bagel and coffee. And I went there and the girl looked at me one day and, and she just looked at me and just started laughing <gasps> in my face. Wow. And I was like, and she was like, what are you going to do? That's what she told me. What are you going <laughs> to do? <laughs> <laughs> my not, life is so bad no. than yours in certain ways. <laughs> That's crazy. So I went back and wrote a rap against him mm -hmm. and it, and it whether you like it, don't like it, or anything in between, I got respect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I thought I did good for, for the time. Mm -hmm. I said some good shit. <laughs> uh, and I just had more info on him because he was famous mm -hmm. and I knew some girl in Detroit who knew things mm -hmm. and she snitched on a bunch of little mm -hmm. things and I was just like, oh, okay. Right. And, and then he hit me again with another diss and it wasn't that good. Right. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, he didn't have much on me. It's mm -hmm. not like he had a lot of, or even cared to be honest, mm -hmm. either which way. Another one went out. I didn't feel a way about it. And then rest in peace, uh, proof. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace to proof, man. My man, such Ma a good dude, man. My man Montage mm -hmm. got on a phone call with uh, Proof and Bizarre. Montage, who rose was stronger. Yeah, okay. he got on a phone with me and I believe Bizarre and and Proof all at the same time on a conversation. And he said, uh, "It's over." Mm. And he said, "Y'all don't want it in Detroit. Trust me. And you got to come here." And in LA, you're down with everybody. We're down with Cypress, Exhibit, et cetera. Right. This makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, and you, you doing, were you working with Alchemist at the of course, time? And yeah. he was, was he working with Eminem at the time? Not yet, but okay. they were, you know, probably wasn't soon after that. And um, but they were still down regardless. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so he was, and I said, where's Eminem? And his quote to me with Montage and everyone is my witness was, I speak for Marshall. So I said, cool. And he said, by the way, there is one more disc that we did that's coming out. <laughs> But we put it only on the bonus joint because mm -hmm. we're trying to, and so don't respond to that. Mm. You know, and, I, and when I heard it again, he really wasn't going at me. It was more Everlast. You know what I mean? And so that right. was it. And it, it dwindled away. Right. Eventually, uh, you know, Paul and I are cool. Right. Um, I seen Eminem backstage at a festival one time with Alchemist. You know, a little, there was a little, like, we're cool. And um, they, pl I get played on Shade 4 or 5. Like, mm -hmm. I'm blessed. That whole thing couldn't have worked out any fucking better like right. nothing really happened i got to get respect for not backing down mm -hmm. to somebody who was yeah, you stood your ground godzilla you know what right. i mean and and then that was it that was it that's dope man yeah 